What kind of Lord Minus One in reading? I born. And now, please welcome your host for tonight, Mr. Bowser. All right. Uh, welcome all of you guys back to our new episode of Learn English with Fuse. Um, last week I was off. Yes, last week I go I, I was off, but last week episode was being taped by the previous week. The previous week. So that day I. I recorded two episodes, the episode for that day and also for the last week's show. So I was off for last week and today I'm back to with you with the unit 1E reading. We'll talk about I bought. I bought. Uh, before we start, uh, I want to ask you, have you seen me and my uncle? That if not, after you watch this lesson, after you watch the tonight's lesson, you can go to the YouTube page, our YouTube channel, and it has a video right over there, and you can watch. It was really amazing. I I I I did that bit. Uh, it was on February twenty. 25th February 25th and uh, it was two months ago about about two months one month yeah maybe one month yeah uh, almost a, almost two months but now yes yes we taped that on in February February and today is in April So it is almost one month, ah, almost two months. So it is still not old, ladies and gentlemen. You can also watch free assess. So now we'll go to one e reading. I bought. So first, it is the exercise number one. Exercise number one. Look at the photo. What can you see? What is happening? And do you like the painting? So let's see the photo. Okay. Um, what can I see? What can you see? I can see a boy, a young man. A young man is drawing, drawing a painting, and it is about a flower, maybe a flower right over there. Uh, but it is quite not Picasso, quite not Leonardo da Vinci, but. It is okay, and uh, on his head he is wearing a device that can be maybe maybe helps him to analyze colors. Maybe that. So let's do the exercise number two so that we can know what is the young man right there wearing and doing and happy. What was happening to him? So read the text, then choose the best summary. Is it one? Neil Harbinson used to be a color blind, but a special device now means he can see colors through sound, although he still usually paints in black and white. Is it number two? Color blind since birth. Neil Harbinson can now paint in color. But he isn't very happy with his paintings, and he thinks the device he wears is uncomfortable and noisy. Or is it number three? Neil Harbinson used to paint in black and white, but now he paints in color. He is colorblind and wears a special device that makes the sound corresponding to the color he is looking at. Okay, so let's read. Hearing colors, colors, colors can be heard. 
Let's read. Imagine being totally colorblind, living in a world of grays, being unable to see the difference between red or and blue or yellow and pale green. That is what life is like for Neil Hamilton. He was born with a irre irreversible, irreversible condition called acrom achromatos achromatopsia, achromatopsia or total color blindness that would make life difficult for anyone but Neo is an artist and the, the incredible thing is he paints in color when Neo was an art student he he only painted in black white and gray but because that is all he saw he was very dis disastified with his paintings. But one day, a young scientist called Adam, Mon Adam Montanden visited the college to give a lecture. The two met, and when Neil explained his problem, Adam decided to try to find a way to allow Neil to see the colors using the sound. So, Neil thought it was an impossible task. But Adam made a special device that let him hear the six colors. This is how it works. Light travels in waves. And different colors of light have different wavelengths. Red light has a long and wavelength. And violet ha light has a short wavelength. Adam used this fact to... Uh, create a camera that measures the wavelength of the light that enters it and then makes a sound that corresponds to the color of the light. So if the camera sees red, it makes a low sound. If it sees violet, it makes a high sound. Look at the board right over there. Red. From low, lowest sound, it is a red. To the highest sound, it is a purple from. Next one. Adam has now developed a much more sophisticated device called the iBoard that allows Neil to see 360 different colors. Neil wears a camera on his head, which is attached to a laptop computer in the backpack. The computer analyzes the color and sends. A sound to Nia's wireless and wireless headset. It was a bit uncomfortable at first, but Neo soon got used to it. The eyeball has made a huge difference to Neo's art. He he now uses a wide range of colors. If he wants to point to paint something, he points his camera at it and memorizes the sound. Then he starts mixing the colors, pointing his camera at the part at the paint, and start mixing when he were, when he hears the same sound again. Neil has had to memorize a lot of sound, but he played the piano as a child, and this has helped him a great deal. I've got used to all the sound, he says. It is noisy, but probably not much noisier than busy city streets. However, it has created some unusual problems. People sometimes think that he is videoing them and they don't like that. The security guards occasionally ask him to leave the shops. But Neo is now inseparable from his eyeball and wears it all the time. So we have read a, a text about hear, hearing colors of a young man called Neo. Neo Harbison was a color blind. Well, he was color blind. A toggle. Uh, he it was color blindness. So we'll be right back to choose the best summary for the text. We'll be right back with the next part of a learn English. Obviously, don't go anywhere.